Shalom, hudgy long praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, the double honors of the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us this word. So there's some uh, breaking news out of Russia. Uh, it was dated yesterday. I guess about Vladimir Putin, you know, is threatening to use nuclear weapons, you know, against Ukraine, against the West. And it says that they've been mobilizing or they're, they're calling up their reserves you know, to escalate the war. And it says that it's the first time it's been done since, you know, World War II. So this thing is definitely, you know, escalating, you know. But this is uh, one of the things that we were told to look after or to look for. You know, these wars, you know, rumors of wars, earthquakes in diverse places. You know, Mexico had an earthquake, a pretty large one the other day, as well as uh, Taiwan earlier this week. And they had a big earthquake, you know, knocking down buildings and bridges and all that. But yeah, this article is out of uh, mirror.co.uk. <clears throat> it's entitled, Vladimir Putin issues nuclear bomb threat to West and warns it is not a bluff. Uh, Vladimir Putin, you know, today announced the first mobilization of Russia since World War II and delayed major speech uh, to his country. Uh, Vladimir Putin claimed in an extraordinary speech <clears throat> that the West has engaged in nuclear blackmail against Russia and that he is unafraid to retaliate with lots of weapons. Uh, the, in a major escalation, the Russian president appeared to threaten possible nuclear strikes in response to what he called attacks on his territory. Uh, the warmonger said he had lots of weapons to apply uh, to so-called Western threats and insisted he is not lying. Uh, this is, uh, if its territorial integrity is threatened, Russia will use all the means at its disposal to protect our people. This is not a bluff. Uh, Sergei uh, Shioji, Russia's defense minister, said, We are witnessing strikes from Western weapons on civilizations. Uh, in a major announcement, the Kremlin warmonger said he had signed a decree stating that Russian reservists will be conscripted into Russia's military from Wednesday. This is Russia's first mobilization since World War II. I shall stress that Russian citizens called up as part of mobilization will be given all the benefits of those serving under contract. Failure to comply with an order during martial law will be punished by imprisonment. So yeah, it's building up. Uh, Mr. Sioji said <clears throat> that 300,000 additional personnel will be called up to serve in Russia's military campaign in Ukraine. As the brute said, if Ukraine continues to try to reclaim territories that Russia plans to hold referendums in, which he considers historically Russian, Russia will take action. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to read all this, but... Uh, uh, seizing Ukrainian sovereignty territory is a flagrant violation of international law and a slap in the face to world leaders who are currently in the United States discussing world peace. Governors in occupied eastern and southern Ukraine have been urging the brute to annex the territories they control in a final bid to save them from ongoing Ukrainian counteroffensive as Russia has been rapidly losing control of land. See, I mean, the point is, you know, they're threatening nuclear destruction, nuclear war, you know, 
into the scriptures, we already know that's a prophecy that's going to take place, you know. So, yeah, there's just a few more prophecies left, you know, the invasion of Iran, you know, implementing of the uh, mark of the beast, and ultimately this is nuclear destruction. So it's getting closer and closer. Uh, the first scripture I have is uh, <clears throat> Zephaniah 1 14, the great day of the Lord is near. It is near and hasten gratefully. Even the voice of the day of the Lord, the mighty man shall cry there bitterly. Yeah, that's how bad it's going to be, you know. That day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of weightness, wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, a day of the trumpet and alarm against the fenced cities and against the high towers, and I will bring distress, distress upon men, and they shall walk like blind men, because they have sinned against the Lord, and their blood shall be poured out as dust. In their flesh as the dung. Yes, they have sinned against the Lord, so the only people that could sin are Israel. So this day of the Lord is, is for these two thirds out here, man. You know, neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. But the whole land shall be devoured, devoured by the fire of his jealousy, and he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. Yeah. It says the whole land shall be devoured by his jealousy. You know, what's that talk about those nuclear missiles, man? That's what's going to top off the, the destruction, man. The day of the Lord. You know, the day of the Lord's anger, man. So, yeah, the Most High is going to cause some destruction. But the Lord said, you know, these things must come to pass in order for our kingdom to be ushered in, you know. In order for the for the elect, for those men to, you know, be become joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, you know, in Yahweh Shai's kingdom, and these things must come to pass. These nuclear bombs have to drop. You know. Next is for, it's uh, Psalms one forty nine and four. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people, he will beautify the meek with salvation. Yeah, you know, the elect right now is the meek. Then eventually all Israel will be saved, you know. But he's going to beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let the sing aloud upon their beds and yeah, the kingdom, man. So we have to go through this destruction and this great day of the Lord before we can actually be able to sing upon our beds because I don't think anybody's actually singing upon their beds in the morning, man. Let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth and to age two-edged sword in their hand, execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. Yeah, so after these missiles drop, man, the Lord is going to conquer, you know, all these different kings, all these elites that are in power. They're going to bind them up, throw them into slavery, man, that continual employment. Uh, to execute upon them the judgment written, and honor have all his saints, praise you the Lord. Yeah, so you know, the destruction has to come first. And the Lord can take his vengeance, you know. Last scripture says this is what we're waiting on as well. You know, Isaiah 49 and 23. And kings shall be thy nursing fathers, and their queens thy nursing mothers. And they, sh they shall bow down to thee with their face toward the earth and lick up the dust of thy feet, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord. For they shall not be ashamed as I wait for me. Yeah, all these world leaders, man. Gonna, the Lord's gonna throw, slap them chains on them, and they're gonna bow down you know, to the Lord and to the elect. You know, and lick up the dust of thy feet. It says, and they shall bow down to thee with their face toward the earth, you know, all the heathen, man. But these things must come to pass first, man. You know, we have to go through this. But, you know, you just got to have faith, you know. And endure. You know, he that endures unto the end, the same shall be saved, man. So the Lord will, man. The Most High keeps the Spirit on you, you know. 
get to the end. But yeah, I just wanted to bring out this article. You know, the war's heating up, building up, and just a few more prophecies left. And with that, you know, Shalom.